Welcome everyone. Welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys running tarot readings for only the signs requested. Okay, so if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you got to be my subscriber. You got to hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know. All right, so um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Scorpio, welcome on into your love reading for valentine's day well i'm hoping to get some messages here for y'all about love <laughs> you know sometimes the spirit has other other ideas so we'll see what comes out but i want to start with a five card spread for y'all just to kind of get a general picture of what's going on in the love life of scorpio you know of course this is good for scorpio risings Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus. Some of y'all might, you know, have Scorpio placements that make this relevant for you. So, I'm feeling the need to really shuffle it up good for y'all. What's going on? What's going on? I've already cleared this deck. A good shuffle. All right. Let's cut it. That, that was a weird cut, but let's flow with it. I'm going to flow with it. Something, I'm just feeling a little something, I don't know. Yeah, something that's a little bit, I'm trying to put my finger on it and I can't quite articulate it. I got to sit with it for a moment. Spirit, help me get clear messages for Scorpio. Help me get clear messages for Scorpio. All right, are you ready? Well, at the foundation, you got seven of pentacles in reverse. Looks like somebody um, is, you know, not gonna put the work into something and maybe they they have and they're just tired of it. They're like, I don't see the point in it anymore. Um, you know, this is an energy of somebody feeling like if they put the work in, well, they didn't get a lot of success or reward off of it, or they know if they put the work in it, it's not really going to pay off for them. So um, somebody here might be distracted or they're just not looking at the bigger picture. They're not looking at the long term. They're not really examining and evaluating things. They're just kind of like not making an investment, frankly. And the main issue here, oh, hello. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, this is a self-service card, Four of Swords. In this particular deck, this is a self-service card, so. <laughs> Looks like somebody's just content to take care of themselves, if you know what I mean. Or maybe they become a master of their own domain. You never know these days. You never know. In the um, future, I'm sorry, in the past, it looks like there was a joining together. There was a sharing of emotions, but I don't know. Maybe three was a crowd. Might have been more than one person here. Um, might have been some, you know, I don't I don't know if I want to call it, a, you know, emotional betrayal because I'm not seeing that in reverse, but it's almost like sloppy, sloppy feelings, sloppy emotions. Somebody's like not reining it in, not directing it. In the future, I think that you're going to manifest something here. I'm going to clarify that, okay? Um, some of you, you're going to go out there and date. You're going to put yourself out there. Um, others of you, you are going to get out of this solitary stuff going on. And uh, you're going to maybe try to recapture this, this emotional bond that you had in the past by getting an understanding, getting on the same page. The undercurrent here is three of swords in reverse. So somebody... You know, they've been through a lot of heartbreak. They've been through a lot of separation, disloyalty. And I think that 
it's time to heal. You know, they're, they've reached a point where they want to heal and that's at the foundation. Something is needing to heal. It looks like in the past, somebody was trying, they were trying to heal from whatever this heartbreak was, but I mean, this is more of an emotional healing level. Whereas the undercurrent of it is, you know, maybe mentally, philosophically, healing, maybe talking it out, okay, verbally venting and getting it out of, you know, their system in terms of what went wrong, because I think um, there were some maybe disagreements or incompatibilities that came up for them in the past, and somebody had to end a relationship that was empty, but I do see, you know, healing from this, and in the near future with that magician, that's a really good omen that somebody is going to, I don't know, pull, pull, a, pull the rabbit out of the hat, so to speak. Um, somebody definitely has desire here. I'm seeing in the um, near future, a desire to kind of create a new story. Somebody's got the willingness and the passion to, you know, bring more into their life than this. But the overarching energy that I'm getting here with the Knight of Chalices in reverse is, wow, I'm getting dual messages with this. Okay, so, you know, different things are gonna apply to different people. I'm hearing different strokes for different folks. Um, I'm gonna get my hot tea going because my voice has not been good to me lately. But let me say with the Knight of Chalices in reverse, um, I'm getting two messages, um, right, for two different sets of people. One message is that, um, you know, in the outcome, somebody is basically, they're going to get let down in some way because they have over-idealized a situation. They have unrealistic expectations, basically, and it does indicate this overarching energy, the outcome is somebody's got commitment issues or intimacy issues. For others of you, I'm seeing a storyline here with that Knight of Chalices that if somebody had come in and, you know, over-idealized, romanticized the situation, um, they're going to get real about love. They're going to start looking at the reality of love. You know, that it's not, love is not just a feeling. It's, it's an action. And maybe just start getting beyond basically one way or another breaking past. I will say this, whatever group you're in here, the gist of it is that somebody's having to work through their issues of over idealizing love, having unrealistic expectations and either they're going to, you know, start loving people from a really genuine, sincere mature place, right? Where they kind of go up to king level, become a king of cups, or they just go backwards and decide, you know, I'm going to be basically a page of cups. I'm going to, you know, be emotionally immature. I'm either going to stay emotionally immature or, yeah, I'm going to level up is what's going to happen. It'll be different things for different people because we all have free will, right? Um, but this, this is quite, quite a message and I want to, um, see if we can get clarification on what you're going to manifest here in the near future. Four of Swords can also indicate, again, that somebody's needing to heal, which I saw here and here, and it's really a heart issue as far as I can tell. You know, for some of you, this person might actually be sick or dealing with some kind of sickness. But regardless whether of whether it's physical or emotional healing, I do see somebody improving and getting better. But yes, maybe through taking a time out because that that is like time out. We're, I'm not talking. I'm not taking action. I'm going to pray and meditate about what I'm doing. And that's a good thing. That's always a good thing. So what you're manifesting is um, the direction that you're going in your life, okay? I don't know why I heard true north, true north, okay? Some of you are going to start getting on point and on purpose. 
It's a very key decision that you're having to make. Very important decision that you're making with your life. And it might have to do with a very important person in your life that wants to fall. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, some of you are going to definitely have a new beginning here. Um, some of you are switching partners, changing partners. Others of you, there is some kind of evolution happening within a partnership. What's getting healed here? What's getting healed? What's getting healed? Yeah, I kind of wish that it would tell me more. I'm not, I'm, I don't know why the cards are... The cards feel weird to me today. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's why I cleared it earlier because I'm like, they they shuffle weird, they cut weird, and I don't know if it's my energy, but we cleared it. So it's, it's, it, it is probably something about y'all that I'm picking up on, but I can't quite articulate it. It's like really, um, really, um, elusive Scorpio. Oh, y'all know about that. So I'm trying to get more details about this change. Okay. Are you shifting? Are you getting a new love? Cause this, this is, could be a new love coming in for you. Um, but again, this is also another card indicating healing, healing, healing. It's going to be different things for different people is really what I'm, I'm getting intuitively. Like I want to lock it down and tell you, you got new love coming in or, you know, you're going to go back and heal it with this ring. But see, it's what I'm hearing intuitively. It, it's not a one size fits all. Sorry. That would be a private reading. <laughs> I'm being told like it's different for each person. Okay. So I'm going to stop banging that drum for right now and let's see if I can kind of get more of a feel of what exactly this is about. What exactly is this about? Please show me for Scorpio. What are the themes in their love life? What are the general themes in their love life? You see, these cards are not wanting to come out. It finally came out. It's reluctance. Um, this is now I can put my finger on it. It's reluctance reluctance that's what it is why can't i i couldn't figure that out before but sorry if you can hear my cat in the background she's playing with her little toy all right so acts breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment um yeah i mean i kind of saw it over here with that three of swords um, it's in reverse though. It's going to be okay. You're going to come out of that. But I saw that sword over there as well. Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. I told you it's like it's synonymous with reluctant. And I think this might be, um, yeah, love coming in for you. All right. It might be new love. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Very interesting. What's the romantic advice for Scorpio? I think you probably have your eyes on somebody that you're interested in. Um, with this Cupid's Arrow card, I'm getting a Valentine's Day vibe, like around February 14th. Um, that you, Around February 14th, you have your eye on someone or they have their eye on you. I do think there is a warning here, though, about... Um, not, not, you know, doing the same thing. Okay. I don't really see patterns here in these, um, cards. Okay. It looks like you're going to go in a different direction and you're going to switch up maybe partners and get a new love. Maybe you're dating someone new, but I do feel like there is this undercurrent of needing to heal and this overarching, you, you got to get to the, you need to get real love in your life. Real love. Real love. Fill in that one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You see, hey, I'm filming this on the 5th of February. And I told you that you're going to have probably your eyes on somebody around the 14th. I think you already know who I'm talking about. You already know who I'm talking about. That just jumped. We'll take it. Very soon. <laughs> Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Hello. Here it is right there. That cup of love. That cup of love. But get real. Real love. Real love. Oh, soulmate. This is somebody who's in your life to teach you lessons, lessons in life, okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. So, <clears throat> whoever this person is, I, I think you know who they are. I think you already have feelings for them. I think that pretty soon, probably around the 14th, you two, you or both of you, one of you or both of you looking at each other, um... And uh, there's something to it. There's really something to it. I'm going to, let's go off and see, you know, about this person. Okay. I want to look into your person of interest and see what kind of messages come up for this person of interest. Scorpio's person <clears throat> of interest. Please. All right, there we go. There's a Scorpio card and the Eight of Pentacles. Do you work with this person or do you know them through work? Because that's your card and that's the worky work card. All right. Um, some of you, gosh, you know, with that, with that death card in reverse, there's some kind of resistance to change, okay? Um, or holding on to something or some kind of fear of change or resistance to change or holding on to something and it might have to be with your work or what you're working on I don't know why I want to put that on you okay um, because we're actually drawing cards about them so I stand corrected let's see Um, mm, okay, so I think that, again, there's that <laughs> looking at somebody, all right? Looking at somebody, that's that's the thinking about you, maybe cyber-stalking you, watching you, or whatever. Um, in the workplace, or while you're working on something, but I feel like with the Six of Pentacles in Reverse, there's some kind of um, not a balanced exchange. The giving has been not equal back and forth, okay? Um, or whatever has been given, it's like you couldn't really do anything with it. It's like, mm. And again, it might be because if it's a workplace romance or something like that, you feel like there's only so far you can go with this. I am seeing some, some feelings here, but I'm also seeing things are kind of veiled. Because maybe somebody has a, a fear. Either they're not giving as much, they're not matching your effort because they're afraid of that. Or, you know, like what would happen to their work or something. Um like sabotaging their work situation or if they're giving more it's kind of in secret but I'm also getting this like maybe for some of you what is given to you you can't really you can't really keep it you can't really do anything with it right like if this is an office romance you let's say you're having a full-blown office affair I mean you can't really maybe let that that cat out of the bag <laughs> and let people know what's going on i am feeling like somebody here is is maybe also the reason why there's an un, unequal exchange with this person is that emotionally they're going through a difficult time in their life there might be some instability in the home or family with this person or they're just going through a difficult transition in life. Um, they're maybe having trouble communicating, like a breakdown of communication with this person. And again, I'm seeing family matters with both of these cards, like there's been some kind of grief or loss 
associated with home and family and somebody is just really trying to hold it down here somebody is trying to maintain order the signs that i'm seeing here scorpio aquarius libra gemini pisces cancer and aries I feel like this is a lot to unpack. I feel like I'm not really even doing it justice. And it's a lot of damn cards. And at the foundation, yeah, somebody has been through a lot. It takes me back to that three of swords in reverse that originally got pulled over here. Somebody's very, very guarded. Very guarded because they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. And um, some of them, their way of coping with issues in their life that have been tumultuous is just to um, bury themselves in their work. You know, like it's a point of no return. Like this is their coping mechanism of they're going to work. They're going to work. They're going to work. Um, if you're the one here who's doing all the working, I see them looking at you. Right? Right. Because I see this worky worky card next to mostly next to your energy. And then I see this air sign looking over at it like <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting some kind of vibe like cut that shit out. Um it, it almost seems like they feel the exchange is not even, okay? And that might be making them really insecure. And it's causing a breakdown in communications between the two of you and maybe even triggering some insecurities and some fears that, yes, they're not yet healed from regarding family matters, things in their past, right? I'm seeing it all over here that they're trying to get dominion over and it might have to do with a masculine energy. So... A lot of work vibes off of that, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure who's doing all the working here. It might be both of you. Take it how it applies. And I got to remind you that I do pull this for, you know, your person of interest, but it is a general reading. So you might look at it and be like, yeah, that's me. Um, and then these cards that I'm doing right now that I think are for you, you might resonate more with it for your person of interest. So take it how it applies. Okay. All right. All right. Spirit, please show me how Scorpio, how Scorpio thinks about this situation, about this person of interest. What does Scorpio think about this person of interest? Oh, okay, okay, we'll take it. Oh, I'm gonna want here. Okay. <clears throat> I think that you're trying to make plans for your future, but, oh, look, you've got that moon card as well. Um, and you're trying to make progress with your life financially as well. Um, so, yeah, both of you are concerned about your money. One is more concerned about bear, they're losing themselves in their work. You seem to be really focused on material progress, like... Improving your position in life. Maybe a raise, a new car, a new home, and, you know, money increase. They're kind of just working to work, to get, like, lost in their work, to just zone out, to cope. It's almost like a distraction to them is really what I'm seeing. Work is a distraction for this person. For you, work is like, I'm, I got somewhere to go with this, you know. I don't think you're just working for the sake of working. You want to pay off at the end of the day. But there's a lot of insecurities within you as well. And it's really tied to feeling like partnering with certain people is just not going to work out. That it's just um, not sustainable. Okay. That eventually, you know, partnering with certain people, it's just there's going to be a fallout that it's is inevitable. I think you want a partner, but I think you're putting your back feel like you're not looking at 
you don't want to look at something that is um, it, that is not. Oh, again, I'm getting a dual message. Some of you, you know, it's not sustainable. You don't care. Others of you, um, you're, you're not considering this, you know, or you just you want to put your back to it. You want to put your back to what's not sustainable is, I guess, what I mean to say. You want to make plans for your future. You want to make progress. But notice all of this is looking away from this dead center, which is, you know, this is not sustainable. I have fears and insecurities about this. Some of you are really intuitively, you know, you know that this is not going to work out. And that's why you're trying to make plans elsewhere. You're trying to work on your money and improve it elsewhere because you're just like, yeah, that's. Okay, what else? What else is Scorpio thinking about this relationship? What else? Getting a lot. I just saw that Eight of Cups walking away. Okay, I'll take that one. Well, it seems to be a very independent woman here. You know, if you're the independent woman, you're like, yeah, I've got this, you know. I don't need to build sandcastles with people, right? Um, if you're Scorpio male, maybe you've got your eye on an independent woman, a very independent woman, trying to make progress with her. I'm seeing possibly a Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius. For some of you, your rightful path at this time is to be single and to be self-sufficient. You know, that's like, if that's the path that you're on, that you're going to focus on self-sufficiency, um, it's your rightful path. You know, that's Major Arcana there saying that's the way. Well, I get a lot of cards now. Okay. So, oh, thinking, thinking. Look, you both have the Page of um, Swords. Oh, but you look, they're facing away from each other. Oh, I'm not looking at you, but you're thinking. You're thinking. Look at that. Look at this intuitive energy. Some of you are dealing with a very, um, again, if you're Scorpio male, this is a female who's independent, might be a business owner, um, might be in highly intuitive, empathic, right? A high priestess is, um, she knows a lot. She's a wise woman, okay? Looks like there's some kind of closure there and grief surrounding. And look, five of cups. Somebody is grieved, Um the, the signs that I'm seeing here are, again, Cancer Pisces. I'm seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I'm seeing the fixed signs here, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. A lot of signs, a lot of energies, the foundation. Well, I mean, la di da, somebody's maybe going out partying and, you know, there's that three of cups again, though. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Do you share feelings with this person? Or you have feelings for this person. Back to this. Romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. Um, but are they coming together? Because what I'm getting is a lot of holding back. You know, High Priestess and the love reading is, you know, like you're hiding your feelings. You're not opening up about it. Or, um, or if you are, it's in secret. There's some kind of secrecy going on here. And I feel like there's a lot of thinking about these secrets. Maybe it was a clandestine relationship for some of you. Looks like something has ended, though, and somebody's not real happy about it. It might have to do, again, with a family dynamic, because notice both of you have this. Five of Cups, Five of Cups. You, there's some commonalities here, although I'm going to say, Scorpio, you seem to be maybe a little bit more discerning. Both of you are very intuitive. Both of you have your own fears and your insecurities. I think you're holding back more, honestly. I think you're keeping more secrets than this other person. This person might be watching you on your job or talking to you on your job. Oh. 
So I'm getting an interesting, I feel like this is a, them. I feel like this, these, this is the same page. I don't know where I'm getting this intuitively, okay? I feel like this person is looking at you. I think this is you and this is them. That's the way I'm empathically reading it. I'm pulling it that way for whatever reason. Um, this person is looking at you like you, um, you keep secrets. You know, you hold back. And maybe you've been really good at it. This is a pattern. It's a cycle for you. And I don't, I don't think they're real happy about it. Yeah. I mean, again, might be somebody who you've gone out with as friends. Somebody you have kind of a casual connection with. Maybe you work with them or you met them in the workplace. Um, for others of you, this is somebody you definitely have feelings for. You have some kind of emotional connection with them. Let me see what Scorpio is feeling. Sad. That's sad. Oh my God. What's Scorpio feeling? I saw that with a five of cups. Sad about something ending. Irritated. Ooh. I don't know why. I mean, I'm looking at this horse like this horse needs relief, you know? It says annoyed, aggravated, bothered. That just fell out in my lap. Powerless. Like there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Oof. I'm sorry. Let's see what they're feeling. Scorpio, what are they feeling? What are they feeling? Okay, that just fell out and turned upside down. Um, heartened and bolded, supported. But it came in the reverse, like they're not feeling that. Okay, maybe in the past that's how you made them feel, but it's gone. Anything else? Uh, I wanted to flip. Comforted, reassured, consoled, nourished, exhausted, weary, fatigued, drained, and that was in the reverse. So I think that, um, okay, so I'm getting a message off of this that it, it's actually, I think that, again, because of their past, their history of what they've been through, I think that when they were around you or when they are around you, you kind of lift that off of them, that exhaustion, like you help them to put that in reverse, you know? Anything else? What is the overall emotional energy of this relationship? Wow, that just came flying out. And I'm going to get it off the floor. Let's see what it is. Oh, compassionate, caring, sympathetic, empathetic, happy. Well, y'all have something good here. You have something good here. What is this? Why are people walking away? Let me see what this person's thinking about you. What are they thinking about Scorpio? Here in just a ball of sunshine. Just a ball of sunshine. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. Anything else that they're thinking about Scorpio? Anything else that they are thinking about Scorpio? I don't want to come forward. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. <clears throat> that. I'm in a much better headspace now. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. Oh, they haven't. They're thinking about you. Look at that. That page of uh, swords. They, they think about you. I think the two of you think of each other a lot, but you're trying to act like you're not looking at each other. Okay. And I do feel like they're looking at you like you're holding back. You act like you're over there working and you're busy, but now nah, you're hiding something. You're hiding feelings. All right. What's Scorpio thinking about this person? What is Scorpio thinking about this person? Not lean forward. Line was just easier for me than telling you the truth. <laughs> Is that this kind of putting up a front stuff? I'm not the same person that you remember. 
I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. I'll tell you, there's some cyber stalking. Look, look. And you got a page over here and a page over there. Oh, it's all over the spread. People are, they're looking. They're looking, they're trying to see what's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got a lot to say. You got a lot to say. And inquiring minds want to know. Let me tell you, you got some inquiring minds over here in this spread. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. You inspire me. Uh, okay. You aren't an angel. That's what the, the foundation. So, I think both of you, you admire each other. I do. I think that um, you have feelings. Again, compassion towards each other. Happiness towards each other. Um, what's the dark energy here between these two? What's the dark energy here between these two? What's the shadow energy between Scorpio and their person of interest? What's coming between them? What's sabotaging this? All right, that wanted to come up. Insecure. Ooh. Anything else? Anything else? Come out, come out, wherever you are. You try to be reluctant with me, but I'm just going to keep on shuffling. Yes, I am. You can run, but you can't hide. Damn it. <laughs> run. Run, Forrest, run. That's what I, just some kind of energy that I'm getting off of this, right? Like this, this hesitation, this reluctance, it's coming off of the, all these decks for you. Um, uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay. Shocking faithless, invading, there it is again. I mean, how many times do we have to say it? The longer I sit with this reading, the more I'm getting confirmation the two of you are watching each other. You're observing each other. You're thinking about each other. There's a lack of faith in this connection. Somebody feels really insecure, like this is, particularly I see for you at that tower that you don't think this is going to ever you know, hold up. I don't know what that shocking card is about. Let me see if I can get some clarification. Okie dokie. Now you want to talk. Now you want to talk. I'm going to take what landed in the upright. What an irony. What an irony. Poverty versus great fortune. Somebody is afraid that a lot would be lost. Maybe if they get involved in this, they're going to lose a lot. They're going to lose a crap ton of money or a crap ton of status, respect. There's just going to be a lot of loss if they get too deeply involved in this. Again, might be in an office affair. Might involve somebody who's an older man. Anything more? What is this shocking about? Okay. Adjudication. Very odd message. I don't know. Concerned about legal matters? That's a weird... That's a weird message. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. I'll be honest with you. I don't know where that adjudication ties in. Okay. Let's see what they want from you, Scorpio. What do they want? Oh, popped out in the reverse. Um, honestly, I mean, I'm reading that intuitively. Like, um, they don't they don't want ego being brought into this. They want somebody to just drop the ego, the self-concern. Um, some They want somebody to get off of their high horse and just stop being so self-interested. And that's not usually the way I read that card. I mean, generally, that card would be about excessive pride, you know, lack of recognition, being unconfident. I don't think that they want you to be unconfident in yourself. They just... Let's see. Let, let's see what else I can get off of this. What do they want? I think they, yeah, they want the truth. 
they want maybe some kind of um, uplifting experience with you, a healing experience with you, partnership. They want to unite with somebody that is actually going to bless them and it's not going to be about ego issues and what's in it for me and how can I get mine and ooh, look at me and who I have and you know all that nonsense that people get into, you know, looking for trophies to show off to friends and family and you know we do that a lot when we're younger, we marry the person that our friends and family wanted us to marry and then we find ourselves in our 40s and we're like, yeah, that, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> you know, um, full disclosure, I, I went the opposite route. <laughs> it didn't work out either, but <laughs> there's that darn page again. Oh my God, there's that air sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, this person, um, they're looking for a partnership. They want somebody to uh, make a very clear-headed decision. Um, they probably do think in a very logical way, they might be an air sign. I'm seeing again, Virgo here or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But their way of thinking is very logical. This is the truth. These are the facts. They want expansion. They're waiting on some, someone to come in their life who is abundant, who is going to have more than enough for themselves and another. And um, maybe waiting on a decision, somebody to make a decision to stand in their own power. It's an interesting message. This is somebody who, I don't think they're much about pride or ego, honestly. Um, they're very much about the truth. I'm seeing with the sun and these swords, they're very much about the truth. They want to unite with people who are living in the truth. Um, and they want expansion. They want a partnership. They want to go from two to three, right? They want to get some kind of growth in their life that perhaps enables them to become more self-sufficient. They're waiting on somebody to make a decision. To be more self-sufficient. What does this person need? What does this person need? What does this person need? They need emotional connection. Okay. Anything else? What do they need? They need romance in their life. Look at those cups. My gosh. This person, what they want, they want, you know, passion, they want intellect, they want people to make clear-headed decisions, to get, you know, forward movement and make it out of this, like, altruistic place that where people set ego aside. And it sounds all lovely, but there's no cups here. And what I'm being shown that they need is some damn cups. They need love. They need emotional connection. They need romance. Yeah, they do need somebody who um, is kind of, you know, a charmer in a way. Somebody who brings in the love. Look at even more cups. Look at that. They, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, and again, I'm getting Aquarius, Libra, I mean, sorry, fixed signs. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, okay? And all these cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, who did I leave out? That's an interesting message, honestly. Um, look at that at the bottom, that's another, another wheel. <laughs> Somebody needs some good luck in their life for a change. They really do. They need good luck, good fortune. Um, they need maybe somebody to come back around uh, who hurt them and give them a sincere heartfelt apology. Somebody to offer that cup of love. They need things to change in their life. And I mean a positively shift in their life, that's what they need, but it has a lot to do with love. It has a lot to do with emotion and things of the spirit. 
that's what they need. They think they want all this other stuff. And all this other stuff sounds good, but there's no cups there. There's no love there. And Spirit's like, no, you need love. That's what you need. You get love, all this stuff will come into alignment. Because somebody that loves you will be honest with you. They'll be passionate towards you. They will help support you getting expansion in your life. It all hinges on love. Somebody loves you, you don't have to talk them into that. It's just going to happen naturally. What you want, well, what do you want? Somebody fighting for you? You want somebody to like compete for your attention? Oh, there we go with those page of cups. Um, somebody's maybe, again, having regrets or wanting, needing an apology. Might be a Virgo, might be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now I'm getting a Libra and a fire sign, male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, some of you, it just seems like, I mean, I'm getting a lot of independent vibes off of this right here, like single, you know, and this is a very independent kind of leadership type person. But again, I'm getting, I'm not getting clear on this. This is, this is a weird message there. I'm, I don't know why I'm going to start all over again. Why there's something unclear about that. Please show me clearly what a Scorpio. If y'all that are watching, if y'all got a clear read off of those cards, I'd be curious to know what you think in the comments down below because my brain just went Bleh, and I never do that. Uh, I'm, I'm totally present in this reading. I, I don't know why I couldn't get a clear read on that. But anyway, um, I'm seeing some anxiety here, some worry. Anything else? But you're holding yourself back. From making progress with possibly a Sagittarius Cancer or an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Um, strong Aquarius energy off of that. Oh... Might be a Capricorn as well. Um, what I'm seeing is, oh gosh, okay. So what I'm seeing here is that, um, you know, you, you might stay up late at night thinking about this person. Regardless, you might just feel like whatever your concerns are about this person, you have to hold yourself back from making progress with um, this person, okay? And it doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be somebody who's very logical, um, very decisive, very clear, um, articulate type of person. But I am seeing that there's possibly kind of some kind of soul tie. There might be, yes, some sexual connection, temptation, um, very Eros type of energy with this person. And there's really a lack of closure there with the, um, with the world in reverse. Didn't you get that in the upright over? Yeah, you did over there. So what I'm seeing here is that it looks like there was some kind of closure or ending, right? And it's with this, like, whatever that breakup separation pattern was. Somebody made me feel abandoned, okay, over this. Cut off um, from that, that emotional connection, all right? But what I'm getting now is that at this point, there's a lack of closure in terms of that temptation and that. If you've had sex with this person, there's like a soul tie with them. And it, that's not tied up. Or you're still like tempted by them. And that's, <clears throat> even though there's been some kind of cutting apart between the two of you, you still, you still desire them at some level.
What does Scorpio need? You know, maybe that's why I'm getting all of the um, the pages, you know, like the pages and the glasses and the eyes and everything. Um, thinking, looking, <laughs> because, but not doing anything about it, not moving forward because the desire is still there, but in your logical mind, you feel like, ah, I got this one I got to do. I just got to hold myself back here. You want to hold yourself back, but the temptation is still there. What does Scorpio need? What does Scorpio need? There we go with those cups again. People need the love. They need the love. They need to step into the love, okay? With the king of cups, right? He's a healer. He's a lover of souls, right? He's empathic. He's the ideal husband and wife. There's the um, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. Signs might not be relevant here, but um, I think that what you need is <laughs> maybe a down-to-earth approach in your emotional nature like getting again getting real I, i'm being taken back to this you know pie in the sky type of you know immature over idealistic unrealistic view on love right like i, I used to know this person who has like this <clears throat> Very idealized idea of, of he's only going to love who he marry, who he marries. And who is he going to marry? It's this perfect little, I don't know, Barbie doll type of woman who doesn't even exist, you know? And, and, and really, like, he found himself in his 30s alone. And it's like, well, it's no wonder. Because you don't love people. You just, you know, you can't love people as they are. Therefore, you're not being loved. You're starved of love because you starve others of love. You disqualify everyone. There's a deeper issue here. And I do see there's some kind of dissatisfaction here because there's a need to get practical about matters of love. There's a need to get grounded and be a lover of souls. Anything else? There we go. Boy, you got a knight of cups and, he, and they've got a knight of cups. Romance. Both. Look at all these cups. My God, I'm going to go back to this. What both of you think you want has nothing to do with love. Where are the cups? And what Spirit is saying you actually need? Cups. My God. I can't get any more clear. There we go. More damn cups. You know, I, I'm not going to keep drawing. All right. Because if I keep drawing, we're going to keep getting more cups. And I think that the point has been made abundantly clear here. Um, Scorpio. Love. Yes. I mean, don't be foolish and indiscriminate in who you love. I'm not telling you to do that. Um, but at the same time, it's like, my God, you know, I don't know why I'm here and love the one you're with. Love the one you're with. That, that's an old song. I don't even listen to that music. I don't know where. What is a self-loving decision for you? Create. Everyone has the ability to create the gift of life. It is our birthright to manifest our desires. And also pass it on. The answer to someone else's prayer. Be the answer to someone else's prayer. Sometimes... Helping others is the quickest way to help ourselves. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that because it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Beautiful cards. Um, but I do think this is about, you know, honestly, this. Okay. It's about this, right? And it's about this. I'm telling you, if this is not a new love and you switching partners and finding new love, this is about somebody that you already know, okay? And it's about evolving that into a more loving nature, more mature love nature to help bring about healing. All right. <clears throat> 
and advice for you to get more love in your life. <laughs> Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Look at that girl. She's feeding a dragon. I mean, who would think of it? Like, really? You're going to feed a dragon? It's loving the unlovable, maybe, you know? And then romance. There we go again. I told you both of you have, you know, Knight of Chalices. And that's all about romance. So lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Well, Scorpio, I, I hope I've helped somebody here. Um, I think the message is clear. You got feelings. <clears throat> you know, do something positive with them. Okay. Honor them. I know, you know, it's not easy. A lot of times we lose in love. Love is, is risky. It's become a battlefield for so many people these days. People guard themselves, their hearts, you know, I totally get it. But please, Scorpio, of all people, don't hold back on that because, you know, at the end of the day, your highest potential is that being that king or queen of cups that the world so needs. So I hope I've encouraged you to do just that. Till next time, be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I want to talk to you guys about private readings. Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here. Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or, you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months, and they wanna know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do synastry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options at play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and i'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people again what are the strengths and weaknesses of either person who should you go with or on the should i stay or should i go um this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision you know what's going to happen if i stay versus what's going to happen if i go and um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for, but um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> You've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like, who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading. If you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within, um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, no, I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology, we can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownedones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.